Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. everybody it's Alma welcome to the kitchen we are making breakfast we are gonna have I don't know over easy eggs a la mexicana that's what we're gonna call it I don't know something to that effect so what I have here is my Smithfield Farms pork jowl bacon this is the pre-sliced version now if you have already tried the pork jowl bacon and you've got the salty version guys I talked to the folks over at Smithfield they said they don't know why it's happening they can only assume that certain batches take to the cure more readily. They told me to go ahead and check the UPC code. If I get a salty version, make note of that UPC number and then compare it to another batch. They said maybe it could be plant-based. They're pretty sure that they only make it at one plant, but just in case you said use that as an option for determining. However, let me tell you, this Smithfield here, the pre-sliced, I've yet to find a salty version of that. The packaging never indicates that it has extra salt, so I'm sorry if you guys purchased one and you happen to get the salty version. I have purchased now over 20, and I've probably gotten three now that are salty. Now, the third thing they said is, if um, you feel the salt on it, which I have done, um, I washed it off a little bit, and it took a little bit of the saltiness away, but not enough, obviously. So she said, if, it, if you do notice that it is a saltier version, go ahead and parboil it and that should help release some of the salt, then chop it up and cook it. I know it's extra effort, guys, so you know don't do it if you want, but if you can find this version, the Smithfield pre-sliced, let me show you what it looks like. Here you go, this is the version that's pre-sliced, yet to find a salty version. You'll note that it is the same thing, the hickory smoked skinless uh, sliced pork jaw bacon. Love the stuff. Sorry for those of you that got the salty versions. Promise you, not all of them are that way. Now this is my first time making this, guys. Here's the pork jowl. We're gonna go ahead and just put all of this into our pan. I've sliced it up. All right, guys, there's the bacon. I put it all in there. You see that I it's all pre-sliced, and then I sliced it into smaller slices so that we can have a bunch of bacon. Now, no, this is not gonna be for my entire breakfast, however, I am thinking about a wedge salad tomorrow. I'm not sure if you've had a wedge salad, but I need some bacon crumbles. So I thought I would go ahead and cook up the entire batch so I don't have to do it tomorrow too. All right, guys, so I have a second pan. It's already preheated. Let me add some butter to that. And then we're gonna go ahead and saute some jalapenos. In fact, it is 2.5 ounces of jalapenos and three ounces of red onions. All right, so I have about, I don't know, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of my bacon drippings. Put it in my pan. Add in my veggies. All right, guys, once this is sauteed down just a little bit, I will be adding in a little bit of mushrooms. All right, let's let this simmer away. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. It's a really, so I'm really rough cut mushrooms, two ounces. All right, guys, so you can see how much the jalapenos and the red onions sauteed down prior to me adding in the mushrooms. So here we are. We're going to get this cooked down. I'm going to go ahead and lower this heat now. Here we go. Here's where we are on our bacon. Here's where we are on the grease. <laughs> All the splatter. Oh, but look at that. Doesn't look good. Look how much fat it's released, guys. So if you eat this whole, guys, you're getting some fat. All right, guys, so the bacon is finished. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Place it on a towel to just kind of drip dry if you will let it drain Woo, look at that bacon looks good all right let me go and finish all right guys here is our finished bacon look at all that drippings that we have and now this is complete as well let's go ahead and move on to our eggs all right guys so i've set up a little station here for the eggs in case you have family members that don't exactly like the same things so you could have cooked each of these individually pico de gallo and of course, bacon, and then here's some more toppings, sour cream, the Mexican cream, which I am a huge fan of, and then cheese and or melted cheese, however you like it. So this is the um, grated cotija cheese, which I love, love, love. We're just going to two small eggs in this teeny tiny little pan. We've got one egg. These are large eggs, but darn, they're small, large eggs. Now we like our eggs running guys, so we're gonna let this set up, flip it, and just have it there for a second. Meanwhile, I'll have everything else ready to go 
So tell me guys, how do you like your fried eggs? Do you like them, do you like them runny or not? Me, I've already said it, runny. And your David coming down the stairs with someone. I wonder who it could be. All right, and immediately guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some of the cheese so it can melt, up, so it can get melted. There we go. Throw a little bacon on it. A little bit of my jalapeno mixture. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it to the counter. All right, I'm gonna transfer this to, oh, look at that. A plate, oh, how yummy is that, guys? From here, guys, I'm gonna just sprinkle on a little bit of my cream, yum, some pepper, and then some pico, guys. And there you go, guys, breakfast is served. Check it out. How good does that look? See something else that looks good? Hi. Come here, Bobo. Come here, Bobo. Hi, Bo. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. It's a good thing the kitchen isn't clean because you got your paws on my countertop. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, honey. <laughs> Bo, you don't get any of this. You don't get any of this. You've already eaten your little puppy towel. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So I think it is bow approved. Is it bow approved, baby? Is it bow approved? <laughs> yes, it is, sweet boy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Oh, there's Bo. And this is Boo. This is Boo. Where's Daisy? She's upstairs sleeping. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Yummy. And here it is, guys. Getting ready to do a taste test on this. Who do you think is going to taste it? Me. <laughs> there we go. Here's a fork, David. Let's get started. Give me your honest review, Mr. Man. Here we go. Oh. This is Eggs a la Mexicana. Oh, they're runny, too. Mm. Oh, Dios mío. Es muy bueno. <laughs> Yay! Your Spanish is just amazing, honey. Gracias. <laughs> <They're not> a... <laughs> you can just flat cook an egg. Yeah. I mean... You didn't like eggs when I met you. I did not like eggs when I met my wife. Nope. She, yeah. she converted me over to a lover of eggs. What's the first thing that I made you? Do you remember? Uh, something you fried in a skillet. It was amigas. Migas, that's right. It was migas turned into a burrito for you. Yeah. Migas burrito. Yeah. You it was burrito. really good stuff. Yeah. You the, haven't stopped eating eggs since. The quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I met you, how much did you weigh? 175. Yeah. <laughs> and then I ballooned up to 215. <laughs> and now you've got me back down to 180. Exactly. Yeah. I'm almost back in my threes. <laughs> Yeah, I blossomed up pretty good, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now. Oh, the way you said that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't hear you. I said I blossomed up, too. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no. You're just perfect. <laughs> Some Marty pants. All right, guys. Give it a try. Let me know if you do. Let me know what toppings you would use. And would you omit the jalapenos. By the way, if you don't like it spicy, go ahead and add um, bell peppers instead. It would be just as marvelous. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Adios. That means goodbye. <laughs>Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.